Welcome to Learn and Love Music. Today we're going to look at one of the most beautiful themes and one of the most beautiful piano concertos ever written, Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto. I have three reasons why these melodies are so beautiful. They're used in movies, they're used in soundtracks, and it's, there's something very heartwarming about this music. And I hope you can learn a little bit more about it in our session today. So let's get started on Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto number two. So the beginning of the Rachmaninoff Concerto starts with chords. Very beautiful chords. So we know, all know that part, but when we get into the really meaty, beautiful, fabulous music, it's when the piano plays alone after the orchestra uh, has some interlude. This theme is fantastic. It is this uh, very romantic. I want to point out something that I've noticed in this music. There's something called a tenuto. It's a line over a note. It's not an accent. It's not a punch note. It's more of a squeezed note. It's almost a very human touch kind of note. And those lines are really, really important because they allow you to bring out the expression in an individual note. I'm going to show you where you can hear these lines in the music. These are tenutos. So the first one comes on the third measure. Tenuto, another one tenuto, and another one, and another one. expressive markings that composers use. If I didn't play with tenutos and just played beautifully, it would sound a little bit bland. In other words... But when I put tenutos in, it suddenly comes alive. brings out the expression in the music beautifully. The second point is a beautiful legato line. This appears many times in this concerto, and it's a little bit different than the passages that had the tenutos on them, the, the, the extra stress. So listen to the legato line in the passage that follows the tenuto section. can create such beautiful, beautiful sounds with that legato touch. There are many great pianists that came who played this piece. Rachmaninoff, of course, played it. Uh, Joseph Levine played it, and hundreds of pianists after that. The more beautiful your musical line is, the more beautiful this concerto is. Here's another place that shows a beautiful line, and this is in the second movement of the Rachmaninoff concerto. It has a beautiful melody in the right hand. And underneath a flowing, you put them together and it's just like gold. It's just so beautiful, so luscious, this music. Here's the middle part of the second movement with a beautiful line. has to be beautifully connected in this passage. And our third element is harmonic tension. Now we all know that 
music is based on chords. So if I play chords, play chords in a particular key, they sound beautiful. But whenever we put a little bit of, it's a little bit of spice on some of the notes. Listen to this passage from the second movement, the end of the second movement. It's a fabulous passage that has really juicy, romantic, and unusual chords. Listen to this passage. And, and also, we, he uses tenudos in this passage as well. Here it is. <laughs> You'd have to agree that those are fabulous harmonies, but they're unusual. They're harmonies that came about sort of toward the middle of the 20th century, maybe an earlier part. There's something really special about them. I even find that sometimes these harmonies are found in a lot of movie soundtracks as well, because they pull on the heartstrings. So let's combine all three of those elements in one passage in this Rachmaninoff concerto. Lyrical line, tenuto notes, and harmonic beauty. Here's the famous theme that was used in a lot of movies. Full Moon and Open Arms, I think that was the name of it, in Brief Encounter, the movie in the 1930s. Fabulous music. Here's that second theme from the third movement. <laughs> enjoyed this episode on why Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto is so beautiful. Now you can listen to a recording of it and listen to the whole thing and find all of these elements yourself. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Learn and Love Music.